Hello everyone and welcome to Canpark Spousal. Uh, not many of you are aware of uh, the Cubex part of uh, Spousal Sponsorship Application uh, due to multiple factors. Uh, it's also not well documented process. Uh, you won't find uh, many guides or walkthroughs regarding this, especially for non-francophone applicants. So in this guide, uh, I'll be taking uh, you through various steps and processes which are involved in acquiring a CSQ. So let's get started. Step 1. So you submit your federal application like everyone else and then you submit your Quebec application to uh, MIFI and uh, it's still paper based application. Step 2. After getting AOR, uh, Acknowledgement of Receipt and SA, uh, Sponsor Approval, you will receive uh, uh, a letter uh, via email GC key or online portal from IRCC, uh, basically uh, instructing you to apply for CSQ, uh, Certificate de Selection du Quebec. So the, right now what you're looking at uh, is AOR, Acknowledgement of Receipt. Uh, this is basically... Uh, uh, a correspondence from IRCC whenever your application is accepted for processing or when it complete when it completes R10 completion check and it's accepted for processing and this is a sponsor approval letter uh, it's basically telling the sponsor that uh, they have been accepted as sponsor and uh, it will uh, it will tell all the basic information about uh, how to contact IRCC whenever uh, there are any changes or they have to appoint any representative or if they want to contact IRCC regarding anything. And this is uh, the file transfer to visa office. This is the correspondence which will uh, instruct the applicant to apply for CSQ and this is the letter you have to show to uh, MIFI when you're applying for CSQ. Step 3. You have to download all the forms, uh, relevant forms in French, uh, including the undertaking application form and it has to be hand signed. So first things first, we'll go to Google, type Quebec Spousal Sponsorship and we'll, we'll go straight here. Okay, this is one way or you can go to uh, the homepage of Quebec and it will uh, bring you to the immigration. Then you go to show more and then look for a sponsor, a family member. When This one, okay, once you click here, then you look for a spons sponsoring a spouse or conjugal partner. All right. So you click here and then this is the relevant page where um, all the information which you need about CSQ is. So uh, we'll go straight to the application part, the undertaking application part, submitting. So this is the last link which you have to click and it will bring you here and it will have all the relevant information. Um, regarding your CSQ application. Step 4. Method is fairly simple. It's a fill, print, sign and post your Quebec application to MIFI's postal address. Uh, some forms require handwritten signatures so just be careful of that. So this is where you'll see all the relevant information regarding CSQ application. For forms, we'll go into the last uh, link, submitting and undertaking application. Here, uh, we'll go to the first part, this uh, preparing and completing the, uh, the forms. So this is the most relevant uh, uh, the most relevant uh, section from where you can download all the latest forms. And uh, uh, you have to make sure that you're downloading the latest forms from the official website which is quebec.ca so just make sure of that and uh, i've also created um, an extensive guide over here you will see that uh, there are some things which are not very uh, 
elaborated or explained so you will find my guide if you go to canparkspousal.ca go into forms and uh, go into quebec and just click on the first tab quebec forms so this is a very extensive uh, walkthrough or a guide uh, where it will explain to you how you how can you submit your um, csq application so whatever steps i've shown in the video those steps are mentioned here as well and uh, uh, if you scroll down further you'll see which forms are required and uh, because this process has changed a lot since uh, 2015 or 16 uh, since when I'm following and um, these are basically the forms which you would need because there is no um, uh, form there are no forms available in English they used to have English versions of forms before but now they have removed it so I think I think I if you scroll okay so this is basically your final application checklist how it should look like it it will explain all the forms and all the supporting documents you would need uh, for example uh, two uh, two completed and two were two copies of uh, the undertaking application form the application version is here and it basically says who should sign right so I basically made a very elaborated walkthrough for uh, all of you guys and it has been here for quite some time uh, unfortunately not many people are aware of it and if you scroll down further down uh, it has uh, a few notes you can read and there are no co-signers in spousal sponsorship application so wherever there's a word co-signer you can safely ignore or you know omit that part I have saved some of the forms the English versions of the forms which they used to have back in 2018 and put it in drive and this is how it used to look like before and uh, now they have obviously changed it so this is the English version of the form you can basically uh, tally it whenever you whenever you are filling it so uh, you won't find this on the kubert.cs website because they have removed it and the forms have changed as well but uh, these forms are just for guidance for those who don't speak French. So this is uh, one resource you have. Um, I've, uh, I'll, I'll give uh, the link in the description which you can use to browse through this material. And uh, obviously this, uh, there's a date here which says Feb 2018. So it's uh, it's an old version. Everything here is an old version of the forms, but you can use them as guide. This is how your application uh, package would look like when you're posting it to Mifi. Step five: Make sure you pay the correct fees. Uh, refer to Quebec.ca's uh, website for latest information. Uh, in my view, the Canada Post money order is the safest method. Regarding fees, you just scroll down and uh, look for paying the fees required to review your application. So you click here and it will basically tell you uh, what is their current fees for, uh, uh, for Quebec's CSQ application. So they have increased on 1st of January this year, 2023. And right now for sponsoring a spouse, our common law partner it's uh, 310 canadian dollars and if you have dependent uh, children uh, you have to add 124 canadian dollars per dependent so it's 310 plus 124 if you have dependents and they have given an example like if you have uh, uh, if you have to sponsor three people that means uh, your spouse and two children dependent children so it will be 310 plus 124 plus 124 so that would uh, uh, become a total of 558 and uh, this is how the fee is uh, uh, this is how the charge so you just have to make sure uh, whichever uh, payment method you are uh, giving them uh, you have adequate uh, funds in your account 
now the acceptable uh, payment method is by credit card or by uh, money order postal money order uh, the check or bank draft and uh, for credit card you have to submit an additional uh, form uh, you can click here and you will be able to see uh, what kind of form is there so this is the form you have to uh, uh, fill up all right and uh, just make sure that whichever card you are giving uh, is uh, it has enough funds in it and uh, it's much better if it's a Canadian card and uh, my most favorable method for clients is the Canada post money order okay this is the the easiest of them all you may be able to find more information about it if you google it okay it's issued by canada post so you'll be able to see at if i'm not mistaken they charge around seven between seven to ten dollars for issuing this but it is the most uh, effective method of uh, uh, submitting your fees to quebec because there are no chances of uh, uh, your credit card getting refused uh, when they are trying to take payment out of your card so this is the most acceptable and the easiest method they do like the, 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 the Canada Post they do charge their fees for issuing you the money order postal money order but it's worth it so then the, the payment methods which are not acceptable are cash personal checks or traveler checks Step 6 You will receive confirmation from MIFI that your application will be processed within given deadline. If there are any delays in processing, the website will indicate it. Any correspondence uh, which you will receive from uh, MIFI will look like this and therefore just be on a lookout of anything which looks like this in your mailbox. This is the acknowledgement letter which you will receive in this envelope. So it will basically tell you how much uh, time they will take to process your application. And uh, if you have any queries, just uh, uh, give a call uh, on the rele relevant numbers mentioned on it. This is the fee receipt which uh, you will get. Obviously, uh, this is an old fee receipt, but uh, the latest one looks exactly the same as well. And this is that uh, credit card uh, slip uh, which they also um, enclose in your application. Step 7 After deadline and successful processing, you will receive one signed, dated, stamped undertaking application form, two letters along with two CSQs by post, uh, Recurrent and Immigration Canada. So this is uh, the letter which you will receive when your application for CSQ has been processed successfully. It will be in French. You may request an English version of this form as well. So this is the French version of it. which is now followed by the English version of it. This is for reference only. Uh, they don't actually uh, send it like this. Uh, I've just translated it for you so that you, for non-francophones or non-French speaking uh, applicants, they would be able to understand what is written in the undertaking application.
Once your application is approved, Mifi will send you two correspondence letters in one envelope. One correspondence letter will be addressed to a sponsor and the other correspondence letter will be addressed to principal applicant. You may pause the video and go through these sample uh, letters slowly. However, I will post these uh, sample letters in PDF format in the description below. So these are the CSQs Certificat de Selection du Québec which will be issued once your application is approved and it will be enclosed in an envelope. There will be two copies. One copy will be for Immigration Canada and the other copy would be for you to keep. These certificates can be renewed during processing if your overall processing time is taking longer than usual. You may pause the video and go through them slowly. However, I will be giving uh, links in the description. Step 8 This is an optional step but uh, it's uh, recommended to do so. So whenever you receive CSQs, you just have to inform IRCC via email, web form or GC key. You may keep both copies with you and produce them at the time of landing. Forms and Guides So these are basically guides uh, uh, and forms which I have compiled and posted on canparkspousal.ca. If you follow these, you'll be able to understand. It's a bit more elaborative than uh, the one which is available on the official website quebec.ca. I've uh, added some explanations and uh, obviously uh, linked as well. Just make sure the forms you are downloading are in French. So make sure you download from the original official website, which is cubic.ca. Final application checklist, Quebec. So this is the final application checklist. Uh, you basically uh, prepare your application the way it is mentioned here. Uh, obviously, I'll add the link in the description, which uh, you, you can refer to. Uh, you have to prepare your application as per this way. Okay, and uh, the checklist obviously will be in French. 
uh, which uh, you can uh, take reference from the English versions which I have provided as well. Uh, obviously all links will be in the description below. Uh, hopefully you will be able to um, prepare your application in a much better way now. Final notes. So these are just notes which I have written. Uh, it's basically part of the guide. Uh, you'll be able to see them at the bottom uh, of the guide. It's uh, it's a general information regarding uh, Quebec applicants uh, uh, when they are filling the federal form and also regarding co-signers that there are no co-signers in spousal sponsorship application and subsequently the Quebec CSQ application. Uh, some of the forms require your actual handwritten signatures. Uh, therefore, just make sure that you, Quebec is very adamant about uh, having a handwritten signature on uh, the undertaking form. So just make sure that you put the signatures in there. And uh, the last one, you may ignore it because uh, some of the forms were not dynamic. Dynamic means uh, you were not able to fill them up using uh, your computer, but now they have made them dynamic. So if there are any forms uh, which were not dynamic, uh, you just used, uh, you just go to the uh, sources at the bottom and uh, find out which forms are having problem and which ones you can uh, uh, use them as the dynamic forms but at, as of right now you may ignore that note number four thank you very much best of luck everyone for your csq application